I had a request to do a purple shadow. I've also had a request to do a green shadow. And I had a request to do pistachio. Um, evidently, I think it was L'Oreal came out with a cream shadow in the color pistachio. And prop, I was prop, and I think it was uh, Emily Noel that did a look with it. And that was the inspiration. So today I'm going to do a green eyeshadow look and hopefully it will satisfy both the green request and the pistachio request. I also have a new foundation to show you. I'm going to begin with, let's begin with the foundation and then we'll go to the eyes. I think I'll be spending a lot of time on the eyes today. I'm going to use the <clears throat> The Naya 24. I'm going to use that much. I'm going to use this as my primer. I have a new foundation and it applied really nice over skincare. So that's how I'm going to begin. I've, I've done it without skincare underneath it and just its primer and Anyway, so this way is the way that I found that worked the best. Today I'm going to show you the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish and the color is 13. I'm going to apply it with my fingers first, like this. I'm going to bring you in a little closer. There. Now I'm going to take the 3D HD brush and put on some more. I'm dabbing at some of the dark, some of my dark hyperpigmentation spots. All right, then what I did when I had a really good result was take the primer and I took that much and ran that through my center. just where my pores are the biggest, which is across my nose and just right here in the front area like that. Then I took just a pea size, not even a pea size, a BB size more of foundation and worked that through the center. And then over my lids and it has I would say it has a satin finish it's not dewy it's not matte I would say it's satin and it's still a little tacky but I'm not go work in work on my eyes and we'll address that later so I'm going to begin with the Charlotte Tilbury Fetish Palette. No. Uh, Rebel Palette. I'm going to pat this green over my lids. And this is a sit. No, it's not. It's just a random concealer brush. Then I'm going to take Riff looks greener on this side than this side. Go back and green this one up. I patted that on with this brush. Now I'm going to take Riff, which is this color from Urban Decay, 
And I'm going to take an E35 brush from Sigma. and work that in the crease. Like that. Small angle brush from Sigma. It's number 65. I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna take this darker green and put that underneath. and as my liner. Get a mirror. It didn't look like it was going to do much, but it really gave it more depth, right? I'm kind of stamping it along the lash line, making it a little, the line a little wider on the outside corner. Put it underneath. I'm going to take the other color that's in this palette, this creamy one. I'm going to put that underneath my brows. Fucking insane. And put it on the water, uh, tear. Then I'm going to take bourbon pencil and put that on my tight line. I'm using the E35 to blow out that riff a little more. Now let's put the lashes on. These are the O La Lashes in number 303. I'm going to try to do the placement that I've been doing on the outer edge. I'm using the Sephora Lash Adhesive. It dries down clear. I don't use the black because usually on my way in I bump several places. I set it down. I place it, I have something sticky on my tweezers. So I place the front of the lash down uh, approximately the center of my pupil. And then I place the outside Slightly, slightly above my lash line. There. I'm going to pick the old glue off. There. I place that one. The front of the lash is lined up with my pupil and then the back just is a little slightly above my lash line. There we go. Let's do brows now. I'm going to take the Kiko brow marker and add a few brows in the front. I store this marker tip down so it'll write nicely when I go to use it. let that dry a little bit and go back to my mascara. I'm going to use the Chanel Blur Volume Revolution. I'm going to work on building these front lashes to make them blend with the falsies.
There, I'll come back and do another coat after that dries. Let's move on to the face. Actually, let's move on to the finish the brows. I'm going to take the blonde dip brow. So, uh, I wanted to show you these earrings. They're by this. And I'll leave a link in the description box. These are a gift from Lourdes. Aren't they cute? They go really well with my new peach, my new peach obsession. All right. So I have my lashes on and what was I working on? Oh, I was going to put in my, on my Anastasia Beverly Hills Blonde Dip Brow Gel. So I did that. Now let's, I'm going to do some under eye concealer. I'm going to use the Maybelline. Actually, I'm going to call it corrector or highlighter because there's really nothing I don't nothing to cover up under there, but I do want to highlight under my eyes. And I'm going to use my F64 from Sigma. I brought it up over that tear duct, so I'm going to have to go back and touch that up with some more highlighty shadow or I'll just put a highlight there. Let's just put our highlight there. I'll show you that in a second. Then I'm gonna run it down the center of my nose. Like that. All right, that was the E6, uh, F64. Now I'm going to use, my face is warm already from the number 13. So I'm gonna take the, so I'm not gonna use a, the in the sun that I usually use to warm up my face. I'm just gonna go straight in with my contour, which lately has been a, the Coco Naughty from Fenty. And I'm gonna keep it back here. And then the hairline on top. like this. Run it through the crease a little bit. And underneath, I'm squishing it underneath a little bit. Like that. Across my nose. Working on the tip, like that. All right, that was Coco Naughty. Now, for a highlight. Oh, before I do the highlight, I'm gonna show you this Laura Mercier. It's a clay palette. It's a editorial eye palette, Intense Clays. And I'm gonna use the black on the small angle brush from Sigma. And I'm gonna stamp that over the lash band. There. Okay, that was this Laura Mercier palette in the small angle brush. It's number E64, 65, E65 from Sigma. Now my blush. This is the blush I've been liking. It's Amberling Rose. Is that how you say it? Ambering, Ambering Rose. And I'm gonna take 
the F55 from Sigma. It's a dual, dual fiber. They call it a duo fiber, not a dual fiber. And I'm gonna that. And then I'm gonna take my foundation brush and diffuse the front of that. Like that. Then I'm gonna take Anastasia Beverly Hills Amaretzi Highlight. And I'm gonna take my highlight brush. It's a high cheekbone highlighter. It's the F03. I'm going to use my ring finger for that. Like that. <clears throat> and then to take up, you could, you could leave this eye look this way, but I'm going to take it up a notch and I'm going to take this which is the gloss and eye gloss from Butter London and the color is mermaid. I'm going to take my ring finger and pat that on the ball of my eye. Just to bring it up a notch. The other way was fine. there. All right, let's do some lips. I'm going to take the Sore Lip Liner from MAC. I'm going to rub it in. Like that. Then I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top diamonds and put that on like that. Then I'm going to take the Avene and it's got a shaker in it so I think it's meant to be shake, shaken. I think it's got more in it than just water. Okay, there's my look. I also wanted to share some recent empties. I used all of the Palu cleansing cream and really enjoyed it. That what uh, for me to finish up a product, that means I enjoyed it. So, I did. Do doesn't mean I'll necessarily rebuy it or repurchase it because I have so much stuff that I want to use up what I have. So, I am just wanted to share that with you. The Palu Visionary Cleansing Cream was really nice. And I'll link it in the box below. This was really good. 
it's all gone. It's the Orbe shampoo for brilliance and shine and the conditioner for brilliance and shine. Ooh, there's a divvy dab left. Guess I'm not throwing this out yet, but definitely I've used up all of this. Also, I wanted to share a pair of sunglasses that uh, Lord sent me. Privé Riveau eyewear. And this is, and they come in a cool case that flattens out when you empty it. The inside is like that. They're pretty, aren't they? Thank you, Lords. I think these are really cool and I'm going to really enjoy wearing them. Thank y'all for watching and leave your request in the comments. Y'all have a great day and see you soon.